comedian, podcaster, actor, and a hell of a funny guy. Please welcome Mark Marin. <laughs> Those are for if you get bored. Quite a set. Thank you. Got, got some real books, got some fake books. Mix it up a little bit. I'm just nervous interviewing someone who's interviewed. You've had 480 something podcasts. 425, I think. 425. I just hit. Yeah. 425. Well, that's way less impressive. Is that what you're saying? That's that's crazy. Yeah, it I is feel crazy. Like I'm cooking for Wolfgang Puck right now. You know, I'm like interviewing. <laughs> You, who's like, I hope he likes this. You can do it, man. You're like my seventh interview, probably. Yeah, all right, well, let's see how you do. Nah, I, don't even, I don't even want to now. No pressure. All right, here we go. Oh, no. this is going horribly. For who? Come on, get on with it. I know. I don't get to do my intro. I didn't get to talk to them go for ahead, 20 do it, minutes do it, first. Do it, no, do I don't, we can talk about whatever you want. I, it I'm is right. weird, though. I, yeah. You hit on it very quickly, the fact that you're in check to the public now that you have a podcast. Yes. I mean, your earlier life, you went missing sort of on your own, you took yourself on the road. Does it ground you that you have to check in with your listeners every week? Well, I, you know, a lot of times, like, I don't know what you did to prep for this, but that was a pretty interesting first question. Um, I, I Thank you. kind of came around the side with it. I, I, I don't know, if it's, the way I prepare for my podcast is generally I pace around my house. And if I got, if I got a guest out there, if I got a guest coming, then I, I go like, oh shit, man, what am I gonna, Iggy Pop's coming over here, and what am I, how am I gonna, oh man. So I do that for about an hour. I don't write anything down. <laughs> and then like, if it's just for the monologue, I'll pace around going like, oh, what, they know everything. What could I possibly <laughs> have that, that's gonna, you know, what, what happened today? That's a, the worst thing about having to check in all the time is when you get to that point where you're like, all right, what happened this morning? <laughs> all right, uh, I got up, that could be interesting. That could be good. <laughs> You're in a good spot right now. Yeah. But you didn't get there the normal way. No, I'm not even sure I believe you. Um, <laughs> it, it sounded very good and it was authoritative. When you said you're in a good spot, I'm like, yes, I am in a good spot. And then a second later, I'm like, what did he know, that guy? But that brings me to my next point. No matter how successful you are, will you ever be happy? What's all this to do about happiness? <laughs> I, I mean, love what, what does everyone always ask that? It's like, are you happy? I'm like, what does that even mean? <laughs> Happiness is fleeting. You know, you can have a good hour, but then, you know, the other nine are shit. I mean, you can't walk around happy all the time. You're like a moron, you know, or, yeah, or a religious true. fanatic. You know, who wants to be that? That's true. No, I mean, uh, you know, the first hundred or so podcasts were really me uh, taking celebrities into my home and using them to work my problems out with. Uh, and I, I think that's how I develop my style. I have a very innate ability to, like, uh, to sort of latch on to people, I can become codependent magically within seconds. Uh, and, and, uh, and I think that talking to people really helped me out. Like I, I was very cynical, I was very bitter, I was very defeated. And I think the, the act of conversation is very nourishing to people. Mm. You know, they like to be heard, you like to be, and also it gets you out of you. If I'm talking to you, like not now, because you're interviewing me, but if you were talking, then I'm not thinking about me, which believe me is a treat, you understand? <laughs> So like even now, if I don't do interviews for a week or two, I get a little crazy. I'm like, oh, what the hell's wrong with me? I'm uncomfortable. I haven't talked to somebody in my garage in a week. Like I, they don't realize. I don't. I don't. When guests come over, I don't go. Thank God you're here because I'm losing it. Right. But you. you know, I, but in, inside you're going. I have to tell John Hamm my problems. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I need to connect with John Hamm about some issues, or just try to figure out what he's doing in my garage. Yeah. With actors, it's very difficult for me to separate them from their character. Like I really. When when Brian Cranch. I almost said just Walter. White. When Brian Cranston was in my garage, I really wanted to interview Walter White. Yeah. So, and I and I just could not accept him as an actor. I would, you know, he, he would be telling me about Malcolm in the Middle. I'm like, what about Speed? <laughs> Tell me how you make Speed in the. Yeah. You know. What's gonna happen to yeah. Jesse, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. There's a line that you said that <coughs> skipped over in Marin, where uh, your mom had set up a date for you to talk to some guy about a comedy career. Yeah. And you said there's no such thing as a career in comedy. Right. And then you went on to something else. Yeah. And I am trying to build a career in comedy. And I was like, wait, what does that mean? So you're asking me, what's a comedy career? Well, why can't you have one? You're really, you're sort of, you know, you're hanging your hopes on this idea that you're gonna become this thing. 
And, you know, it doesn't go well for a lot of people. You know that, don't you? Oh, yeah. I, I don't know how much denial you're in. So... <laughs> I'm starting to get out of it a little bit where well, I know... You're sitting on a television show wearing a suit. It's going to be over by Friday, Mark. And this I is the end of it? It's just for the festival, which you're in town for right now. Oh, so this isn't your regular gig? No, this is five days that we're covering the festival. I'm on So this is like a it. lucky break for you. Uh, well, we'll see how it edits together, but it might be. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We have more with Mark Marin after the break on Comedy at JFL 42.